we've all been told how important it is to get a flu vaccination every year. Because, for the most part, flu shots do a pretty good job of protecting us from influenza viruses. But if people are getting properly vaccinated against the right viruses, how come we still see deadly pandemics caused by influenza A, like the swine flu outbreak in 2009? I'm Annika Jane Beamer, and this is how antigenic shift and drift make preventing influenza A pandemics so difficult. There are thousands of influenza strains infecting people throughout the globe, and they're all identified by two main antigens, molecules in the cell membrane which help to identify and classify the viruses. The antigens used to identify flu strains are hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. Each year, researchers assess the strains of influenza virus that are most likely to circulate and determine which strains the flu vaccine should protect against for the coming winter. The standard influenza vaccination will contain antibodies designed to recognize and fight off two strains of influenza A, typically the more severe subtype of influenza virus, and one strain of influenza B, which is less severe and less common. Now, influenza is an RNA virus, which simply means that its genetic material is made up of RNA, ribonucleic acid. Unlike the genetic material DNA, RNA doesn't have a proofreading mechanism. So over time, as the virus replicates and its genome gets copied over and over again, it will make small mutations which can slightly affect the antigens on the surface of the cell. This slow accumulation of slight genetic change is called antigenic drift. We see antigenic drift in all RNA viruses, including influenza A and B, but because it entails such a small change over a long period of time, our bodies are usually able to independently develop immunity to strains that have been modified by antigenic drift. What makes influenza A so unique and deadly is its ability to undergo huge amounts of genetic change in a small amount of time, something we call antigenic shift. Unlike influenza B, which really only circulates in humans, influenza A strains circulate in many different species of animals, meaning there are a lot of strains of influenza A that are drastically genetically different from each other. When two strains of influenza A from different species infect the same cell, their exteriors break down, allowing the genetic material from the two viruses to shuffle around. This reassortment of genome segments creates a totally new virus, with genetic material from both of the original strains. Because the human immune system has never been exposed to this new influenza strain, it may be highly infectious, resulting in a pandemic. So even when researchers accurately predict which influenza A strain will be circulating among humans, and even when people are vaccinated against this strain, coming into contact with an influenza A virus not found in humans can spawn antigenic shift, and at the same time, an immunological disaster. 